When we arrived in Egypt, I could hardly contain my excitement. I love history and science. Egypt for me is a dream come true. And there are lots of Egyptologists. These are special historians who know Egyptian history. Let's talk about papyrus. Papyrus was very important in ancient Egypt. The papyrus plant is cultivated in the Nile River. Here we make papyrus paper. The papyrus plant, it's water plant, used to grow in the Nile. The flower looks like the sunrise, the stem like the pyramid shape, you see? Triangle. That's why ancient time they believe it's a holy plant, belong to the sun god. How we make paper out of this plant, we cut the stem of the papyrus as long as we want. Then we take the green part out like this, like rhubarb, if you know rhubarb. The inner part, which we use it to make the paper, we cut it as a slices like that. See, this is easy to break. Yeah. But we roll it to take the juice out, it's like that. Then it's became strong and flexible because it has juice now. See, before, just easy to break. After, very strong. When we put it into the water for three days, three days to make white color, seven days to make a brown color like that. Then we start after that in three days time, then it became sticky, if you're feeling. Glue, natural glue from the plant itself. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Yeah. That's, that's, cellulose, that's, it has cellulose on it. That's awesome. That feels really good. Yes. Yeah. Then after that, we start to make the slices here, horizontal layers and vertical layers like that. See? We finish all horizontal, so it's not waved, just horizontal. We finish all horizontal, then we make the vertical. We finish the whole paper, then we make the vertical like that. We cover them, we press them for a week. Ancient time, they have no press using two blocks of stones in a state to press them. One week down this press, they stick together because of the natural glue, then you would have the piece of paper like that, see? This is the original papyrus, very strong. Roll it, pull it, it doesn't break. Wash it, no problem. See? This is the genuine. Then we paint it. All what you see, hand painted water color, you know, and each one has a signature. So this is the first wearlet paper before the Chinese. Egyptians made the first wearlet paper made out of this plant. You know? The ancient Egyptians used the stem of the papyrus to make many things. Sails, cloth, mats, cords. But the most important thing they made out of papyrus was paper. It was later adopted by the Greeks and Romans. It was used for writing letters and making documents. It was so fascinating to learn how they made it. 